Than six months, crews have been working on what will be the largest gym and safe room in the state at the Tupelo High School. The six million dollar project got a huge boost this morning, and WCBI's Allie Martin was there for the major development. The brick exterior wall is up for the 24,000 square foot gym and FEMA approved safe room, but inside, the apex of the dome roof set on the dirt floor until huge fans begin blowing. This is a major milestone. Inflating the building's PVC and fabric 8,000 pound dome took about 20 minutes, but is condensed to only a few seconds in this time lapse video. Staffers with JBHM Architects, school administrators, and members of the media were allowed inside as the dome inflated. Tupelo High School principal Art Dobbs says the safe room and gymnasium is a welcome addition to the campus. This is great. The, the number one thing that it means is the safety aspect. You know, uh, being able to put all of our students and staff in this building uh, and when bad weather comes gives you a, a great, great feeling that we, a great safe feeling. Although the dome has its shape, those huge fans will continue running for the next two and a half months or so. There's still a lot of work to be done on the structure. Everything that we do is going to be done on the inside of this air form. We've got to put on the insulation. So that'll take a few weeks to put the insulation up. And then once the insulation is completed, we'll put up the rebar grid or the rebar mesh, and then we'll spray that rebar in with shotcrete overhead. The facility is not only built to withstand an EF5 tornado, but will also host athletic events with seats for more than 2,000 people. It'll house all their basketball games and give them the ability to also house competitions. Construction should be complete by January. In Tupelo, Ali Martin, WCBI News. And the FEMA grant paid for more than $2 million of the facility. The school district will kick in the rest of the money. Well, it's moving day at the newly finished New Hope High School in Lowndes County. School leaders began the process of moving into the new building today. But there is more shuffling going on around the school campus. The middle school is moving into the old high school building. And then the third grade is moving in with the fourth and fifth grades. Lowndes County Maintenance Director Greg Wheat says the move into the new high school is just a two-day process because they only have boxes that need to be moved, but there's a little more heavy lifting for those other buildings. Now we're moving furniture from one building to the other building, plus all the boxes. So it has slowed down somewhat, but I feel like if everything goes well, we should have the middle school moved in two weeks and hopefully, hopefully the elementary in two weeks. Now, if everything goes well. The district plans to have everything in place across the campus by early July.